Faraday's law and Lenz's law are uh, two laws in electromagnetism that give us a greater picture of how magnetic induction can affect or induce a current flow. Faraday's law is just simply uh, stating that a change in magnetic flux will result in an induced electromotive EMF force in a wire. And Lenz's law essentially says that the direction of current from that change in magnetic flux has to be such that it opposes the original change in flux. And that's why we'll see a negative sign as a difference between that equation and Faraday's law, essentially giving us a magnitude and direction. Just as a simple square loop, uh, we have a simple square loop with uh, a magnetic field coming out of the board with dimensions two meters by two meters and a magnetic field of 10 Tesla. And after two seconds, Essentially, uh, what changes is the magnetic field increases to 30 Tesla. Just doing a simple equation, we see that the magnetic flux goes from 40 Webers to 120 Webers, and over those two seconds causes an EMF of 40 volts. Now, what is now that's all good according to Faraday's law. Now, applying Lenz's law. Essentially, the original change in flux is that it becomes more intense out of the board. So current needs to, the induced current needs to flow in a wire such that it causes a induced flux opposed or going into the board inside the square loop, which according to Lenz's law, will cause the current to flow in this situation clockwise.